Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Cinefix. Today we are talking about T's favorite subject, robots. Robots. Robots also is another way to say that. I prefer robots. I prefer mechanical Americans. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Very patriotic. I mean. mm -hmm. Um, so, about robots, uh, robots are, there's a lot of different ways to like measure what makes the best robot. Like, right. what's a great robot and why, and I don't want to get into like splitting hairs about, well, this one's good in a fight, or this one is just rad, or this one. So let's talk about all three. We're going to do a little modified version of, uh, Mary f kill, essentially, except it's, we're going to pick it's, robots. It's a we f all the robots. We f <laughs> all the robots. Because yes. that is such a given, we're going <laughs> to skip that conversation entirely. You're gonna go straight to which robot do you want on your side in a fight? Which robot uh, do you want to be best friends with? And which robot do you want to erase from existence back to the future style? We'll start with the uh, robots that you want on your side with a, in a fight. Well, I think if anyone has uh, watched our robots tournament, they'll know my answer, even though I unsuccessfully defended this particular robot. The Terminator, particularly in Terminator 2. Arnold Terminator and 2, Terminator Arnold. 2 want him on my side in a fight because Obviously, he, defeat, he defeats successfully a more advanced version of himself, and I think uh, he just seems like, kind of like a party. He could break down a wall and say a little catchphrase. Right. <laughs> the one-liners are the best part. He learns one-liners. Yeah. True. Which you need on your side in a fight. Right. You need those. He's going to look out for you while doing one-liners. And they'll be good one-liners, not like, I used to meet you, like right. the good ones. Not like the, one, not like the way the Simpsons made fun of our <laughs> <laughs> one-liners, like actual one-liners. He's, like he's like a metal parrot, yeah. in a way. Yeah. I don't want to skip you, but we're going to because this makes more sense. But Casey and I both picked the T-1000. We did. You guys colluded? We didn't collude. I didn't know that until we got in the room, but we both picked the T-1000. It, personally, I pick him because like, it was such a specific circumstance by which the T-800 defeated the T-1000. You feel like it's like an asterisk kind yeah, of it's situation. Like, and it was, it was a complete accident, too. They, they, like, the, the T-1000 didn't fall victim to any plan. No. Like, they, were, they crashed a truck into a, a liquid metal plant. Uh, I and they, they, they melted him. Right, like, right. Well, so I, I still if, want, I still want the Terminator. I on feel my like side. he's gonna be, if just strictly speaking, on my team in a fight. It's mm -hmm. got to be T1000. Yeah, I mean, if that fi fight had been in like a ball pit. T-1000 would have won easily. He would have Look, just watching Wait, that guy run is pretty bit. terrifying. Well, you know, they were they were fighting, chasing each other in cars. They ran into a McDonald's, oh. fell into the ball pit. Gotcha. Fight sure. ensues. But but really, for, for both of your guys, the fact is that like now that I know how to kill them, I'm just going to bring liquid metal with me all the time. Like molten, just molten metal. On you. Just, on you. Well, yeah, I'm just going to carry just a bucket. Just better have yeah. some yeah. oven yeah. mitts or something. <laughs> I'm never going to stray too far away from an active volcano. Well, <laughs> yeah. fine. Right. Hey, if, if there are Terminators around, that seems like a safe place to be. All right. But I mean, the, you know, you could just, the, the T-800, you could literally just hit real hard. You could bash it until it falls apart. Absolutely. Choice. I am going with Mecha Godzilla because I don't give a damn uh, about collateral damage. Yeah. It's the hardly... movie or the damage? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Both. Yeah. You can't, just, just, just stop talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger for two seconds. I can't. <laughs> the fact is, if there's some sort of alien invasion or something, like, the, your Terminators, they're not going to do shit. But Mecha Godzilla? Gonna win the day. If, if I need him to take out anyone else, I can just stomp on them. Like you know. I mean, he is technically a robot. Yes. Um, but man, that seems like it's hardly a fair choice. I but know. I also hey. feel like even now, my Terminator, you, no. he's got like some hacking abilities. He could probably like hack into Mecha Godzilla and shut him down like from no, no, remotely. No, no. Mecha Godzilla first off would just stomp him, and you know how <laughs> Mecha Godzilla would hack things. Just, just blow him up. He'd yeah. actually yeah. Him up. I feel like there's a level of sentience <laughs> that Mega Godzilla is sort of missing. That yeah, that's I what think I'm saying. Strategically, well, you'd want somebody. <laughs> granted, think. he's just gonna stomp on. Yeah, right. that's, um, that's all I need. Take that. I don't know how this conversation turned. I mean, obviously, it was gonna turn into who's gonna kick the other. Of course. Well, yeah. yeah, that was this. Yeah, and I it's think we're kind of just I don't know why I didn't right expect now. that. <laughs> so moving on from fights, though, uh, who are we gonna be best friends with? Bender. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good. Well, I like to party. He likes to party. But is he trustworthy? He wants to kill no, all the humans. Not. I want to kill all the humans. <laughs> oh, well, you yeah. have things in common. That that's yeah, nice. we have tons in common. He's got room for literally anything in his belly, too. Like, yeah. That's true. Yeah. It's like a Mary Poppins kind of and situation. And as right? we learn, he does have a heart in there. He you does. know? Mm -hmm. He does have a, a bit of uh, 
love and affection for those who are closest to him, such yeah. as a fry, or in this case, a tea. I mean, <laughs> hopefully a tea, <laughs> unless you confirm this somehow, that Bender would actually be your friend. I think, I think he would. I think we'd have a simpatico. Anna, who you got? Okay, so I'm having a bit of a crisis. Uh -huh. So it's between Wafflebot from Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas and okay. TARS from Interstellar. So Those are two remarkably <laughs> different yeah. choices. That's, that's why it's that's a bit of a crisis. That's quite the dilemma. Yeah. Well, that's, that's why it's something of a crisis, because Wafflebot is, is loyal, wonderful. He saves the day. He saves Harold and Kumar. He can squirt hot... Uh, Hot syrup and, and okay. I was hoping and, you were okay. going to oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> kidnapping you. But that was a bad place to stutter. <laughs> he can squirt. He can squirt hot. <laughs> <laughs> what was you going to say? You know, uh, you know, he can <laughs> squirt hot. <laughs> That's a verb now. Oh, is that under attribute? Squirt hot. Squirt hot. You got a level nine <laughs> hot squirter. So which one are you going to pick? Because you can only pick one. Well, oh God. Okay, so. One of them can make me waffles and be loyal, and the other one, like, I can actually hang out with, and, and, and he can be funny, and I can make him more funny if I want to, and, and if I'm drunk, he can carry me home, but he can't make me waffles. He can probably, like, encourage you to make waffles. Oh, he can go pick me up waffles. <laughs> he can go get you waffles. There you go, Tars. Okay, Tars? Tars. Well, I gotta say that if, uh, if I was gonna pick a friend, it would have to be Marvin from Hitchhiker's Guide. Because okay. if you know me, I'm a little upbeat, I'm a little optimistic, a little too often. I need someone to bring me down a notch, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's a great day, Marvin, why don't you come out and play? Oh, I don't think that's a great idea. Look at the sun, <laughs> it causes cancer. And I'd be like, you're right, and I'll stay indoors and I won't die early. That sounds terrible. Yeah, really? Could not that disagree sounds with like you me. More. Okay, how about this? He has the voice of Alan Rickman. No, I understand that. Hey, yeah. that's yeah. good. That's a good yeah. plus. Yeah. That's yeah. the only thing he's got in the plus column as far as No, I love that guy. That guy's great. So you want a guy literally to rein in your good times. Yeah. Well, otherwise I'm going to go off the handle. What's wrong I with that? don't understand. What's keeping you from going off the handle right now? Prozac. Oh, okay. Mm. So I was going to say, is it literally nothing until you become <laughs> friends with Marvin from yeah, Hitchhiker's Guide? exactly. Okay. I got to get off the prescriptions. Gotcha. <laughs> Let's get right off of that topic. Um, uh -huh. cool. So now we're erasing a robot from existence. Completely. Well, I feel like I'm going to have to go TV again and go with Urkelbot. That's, that's a good choice. Because I, when I think about that, I sincerely wish it had never happened. I mean, Stefan Urkel was bad enough. Urkelbot... I mean, Family Matters had pretty much already jumped the shark with the whole Stefan Urkel thing, yeah. and then Urkel bot, I was just like, I didn't know you could jump another shark. Right. right. <laughs> they had two sharks, one you didn't even see coming. Yeah, it's like they used the first shark as the ramp to jump the <laughs> to second jump shark. To jump the second shark. It was insane. So yeah, yeah Urkel bot should have never happened. So. I'm going with Ed 209. I, I love mm. I love it how Ed 209 looks. He's super cool mm -hmm. looking. But dude can't go upstairs. Yeah. You the know, stairs thing. Yeah, I mean he he was made with a purpose that he can't even function doing, you know? I don't think that qualifies as erasing him from existence. Like that we need an we need an Ed 210, if anything. Well like, yeah, but, but you're still erasing him and building a new one. Well, no, but you you can't get to 210 without the 209. You gotta you gotta yeah. learn from your mistakes of the 209 and get to the I mean, 210. He just needs a ramp. Yes. Really, RoboCop just needs a a, a viable opponent. Mm. Really. <laughs> okay. Okay. My my biggest problem with ED 209 is it kind of devalues what RoboCop can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if if that doesn't work, which yeah, I'm not letting you pick doesn't. it. <laughs> I'm not letting you pick it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> David from Prometheus, because he's a freaking asshole. David, okay. Okay, oh. he, he's gonna roofie you with alien gunk, and then you're gonna end up having to have like a weird, like crazy medical abortion-y thing yeah. from, of the alien, and, and then it's still gonna be alive, and it's gonna attack you, and all things are gonna go wrong, and even though he's just a head by the end, he's still an asshole. I, well, I'm gonna disagree with you again, because that was the only interesting part of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was okay. nothing interesting in that movie. I disliked it a lot, and All right. I'm really upset that I paid to see it. That's fair. I have to go with C-3PO, <laughs> just because he's Aww. the universe's <laughs> biggest wiener. Yeah. Like, I just don't, and you don't, you don't need him. I just don't care yeah, about C-3PO. C-3PO is pretty annoying. He like the spoof. Uh, uh, dot Matrix yeah. from Spaceballs, yeah. I find way less irritating. And that's Joan Rivers. Yeah, yeah. she has yeah. More, That's saying yeah. a lot. She yeah. has a little more charm, I yeah. At least she's making with the puns. Yeah. Much better delivery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, it, there's never a time when he's on screen where he's not, sp like, actively annoying other characters. But he can give you the odds. 
Yeah. <laughs> what? So what? <laughs> Don't need the odds. Han Solo doesn't need the odds anyway. He's, he's still going to fly into the asteroid. Fine, field. fine, fine. He can go over the other side of the ship and tell me the odds. I'll listen to him. <laughs> okay, yeah. You just get really upset about the odds so you can stop being <laughs> in such a good mood. It's just me, C3PO, and Marvin at like a weird table at lunch. Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> like, don't go over that table. You just want to be friends with the robots that are going to make you feel bad. Yeah, I, That's I guess dumb. so. I don't yeah. know. That's dumb, you're being yeah, you dumb. Yeah, be, you want to be friends <laughs> like, with a giant gold calculator. You know, yeah. there's an emotional rainbow, and I want to experience all the colors, okay? <laughs> That's fair, No, I you guess. seem to only want to experience the sad colors. I have the happy colors. <laughs> Look at me. I'm on cloud nine over here. <laughs> Okay, well that's a whole lot of robot talk for us. But moving on to something else that we need to talk about real quick. Uh, in the uh, long tradition of changes here at Cinefix, uh, we're about to go through uh, another one. So Cinefix is, is it's gonna start to change a little bit. A lot of the same programming that we're used to, still gonna be there, still gonna have movie lists, still gonna have things you didn't know, what's the difference. Uh, all the good shows that, that we got going right now, we're gonna keep around and uh, you're, there's Still going to show up uninterrupted, um, but there are going to be some other changes, some things that we'll be able to announce uh, more specifically here pretty soon. Um, one of the unfortunate changes that we're going to go through is you're going to uh, see less of Casey and Anna. So, I mean, where where can everybody keep in touch? Um, you can see me on uh, on Geek World Radio on YouTube. Um, Geek World Radio pretty much everywhere. Right. So, yeah. Geek World Radio. Geek World Radio. Yeah, I usually hang out at bus stops. Mm -hmm. um, you can usually find me there. Uh, I'll leave my number on various <laughs> walls, uh, things of that sort, so just keep an eye out. Okay. So yeah, that's the uh, announcement. Obviously, we're very sad that you guys aren't going to be around anymore, but stick around Cinefix. Make sure you stay subscribed. Uh, the channel's just going to keep going and keep getting better. So we'll see you next time. Bye.